if you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am back with another Yishuan scrapbooking process video for process video week. I might have to continue this on for another week or two for other um, vendors because this has been so fun and uh, very rewarding to try different things. So I'm not going to chit chat with you long because we have a loaded video today. So um, if you haven't checked out, um, I don't know where we are, maybe three other videos before this, uh, go ahead and check the links down below in the description box. I have them all laid out um, for you guys if you want to check out what I got initially and what I've been doing with that. So today we're going to be doing this cute little stamp set. It's such a versatile stamp because you could just use the images for like a baby book or something like that, which is what I thought of, or baby card, or baby birthday card um, in conjunction with all of the sentiments. Or you can just use the sentiments by themselves, also the clouds by themselves, like it's a versatile um, sentiment and I go over you know all the things that this says in that video of unboxing and then we have the coordinating dies that go along with it so uh supplemental things I'll be using again still is this lawn fawn clear embossing ink pad along with uh stamping stuff black embossing powder I'll also be using some inkadu embossing powder in silver and then some I'll be using my um uh, go foil press today and i'll be using some spellbinders glimmer uh, foil and this is in a silver or aluminum and i also will be using this uh, spellbinders glimmer plate cute little stars i thought that was very perfect for this die set and my little jimmies i believe that's it besides the normal paper um hot glue pop dot stuff so um we'll be going ahead and getting this card started but um what i also wanted to share with you is the medium that um i'll be using for this particular card so i've used watercolor pencils i've used copics in the previous videos um, I have used inks and I've stamped on um, paper, like cardstock, um, colored cardstock. So now I'm going to try gouache paint. This was sent to me by Chocola. Um, so I'll have the link to this direct set down below in the description box. Um, so anyway, this is the gouache paint set by Charcola, Charcola and it's 36 colors. You get them in small 12 milliliter tubes. This set comes with lots of little doohickeys you get a little sponge which i'll probably be piecing this off so that i can dab on um things instead of using it as a whole pint a sponge you get a value pack of artist brushes and you get a palette knife number three and you also get a painter's palette which is going to come in handy not to mention you get a color swatch sheet so you can know how the colors look when you water them down. And then there's a row of metallic colors aside from the classic colors. So these are the colors that come in the set. Um, like I said, there are, how many is it? 36 colors in here and really, um, really pretty colors. You get two titanium whites kind of mix in and dilute some of the colors that are in the set. And the, this is the other set. You also get some zinc white, some silver. And these are the metallic ones. So you got your pearl. Um, nope, these are the metallic ones. You got your gold, your rose gold. Um, there's some other ones in here. There's bronze, silver, really cute colors. Hope I was on camera. This one is really cool. I was definitely going to go with this rose gold foil. And I'm like, mm, maybe I won't do that because then I can't coordinate the colors because you know I'm not a professional colorist so I just can't be willy-nilly choosing stuff I have to choose something that's a little bit more to my comfort but stretching just a smidge I just can't be going way out out right now okay so I was like I'm gonna stick with my silver or my gold so I probably will pull out this um am I gonna pull out that silver I don't know we'll see um but anyway these are the colors that we have that we're working with so I'm going to just go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to do titanium white. So I'm going to go with that one. And as far as painting my little guys, I want to do some pretty 
pretty light colors here. So let's see what we're going to do. I know we're going to do, let's do a lemon yellow. And let's do this turquoise blue. Really pretty color. Let's do this rose. That'd be cute. Okay. So I'm going to put these away and then we'll get started. I'm going to think I'm going to do something with this, with this palette life. Like, <laughs> girl, I only know how to hold it, but I feel important. I feel like an artist. <laughs> Lots of different varieties of brushes. And it tells you the stroke that they make on the back. Spaying out. I think I want to do like the glaze wash. There's a shader and a flat. Let's do the glaze wash. And a round. And a round brush. I'm going to put... A little bit, listen, the images we are coloring are small. We just need taste. We just need taste. I put a little bit of that titanium white. We're going to do a little bit of this. A little bit more than that. A little bit of the lemon yellow. This turquoise blue. I probably was too much. You just need a dab. Dab. And a small amount of this rose. Woo, that's bright. That is bright. Okay. That's that. Get my little water cup. Just need a little bit. Because she spills. So we got that done. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my images and emboss them with my heat tool. There we go. Hopefully it's on there really well. Okay, I have embossed it and I kept touching this, so I didn't even do that one. But I missed like a ton of spots. Um, I don't know if I just didn't put enough pressure on it or um, I'm using a different watercolor paper. But I'm going to re stamp it on um, the watercolor paper that I had before. And then I'm going to stamp it in black ink and see which one I like better. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, that's how that looks. My little bunny down here has freckles. It's okay. And there we go. So I'm going to set that aside because I want to do this in silver too while I have all my stuff out. So I'm going to do that. Actually, I'll do that right here on this one. This is going to be a long video. So sorry. We'll start out with this here. I'm going to do this little bear. And I think this bear would look cute if I did it in pink. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of the pink, just a smidge. That's all we need, smidge. A little wipe handy. And then a little bit of the white, because I do want to dilute it. Girl, what am I doing? If you don't get over there. Kind of mix that together. It's a nice, a nice pretty pink, a nice pretty light pink. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of water. Add a little more water to that. A little drop. The more water you put in, the more transparent it gets. So I just want to make it watercolor e. How cute is that? I think we're I think we're there. There we go.
And I hear that um, gouache paint dries darker. So I actually, I actually could have gone a little bit lighter on this, but I love the embossing um, stamps. I love when the stamps are embossed is what I want to say. I'm actually going to add a little water. I'm going to use this brush. Move some of that pigment around. Oh, it's so pretty. And I want it, like I said, I want it to have that watercolor effect. Just a loose, a loose base color. Here I go with the darn uh, Kleenex again, because I don't learn my lesson. But let me just do just a little, just a little dab. It's so cute. I'm just going to go around the edges here. Give it a little dimension. This is so adorable. Kind of brush that in. <laughs> That's so cute, y'all. That's so cute. I love it. Okay. Well, the dabbing was good for this instance, okay? All right, I'm gonna do a little white. And I'll come back to that balloon. I haven't decided if I wanna do it all one color or not. And then we're gonna mix these together. I've already, well, I thought I cleaned off my brush, but I didn't. I can add more yellow. Add some more yellow to that. Oh my gosh, this yellow is so vibrant. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. Even with the little freckles, it's still so, so, so cute. Oh, what a pretty color that turned into. Gorgeous. Let's put this over here. Very thick, very opaque. So I'm going to do a thick coating. I'm going to add some water to the middle. And then we're going to dab. That's what I like. I think this works best. This is my favorite medium so far. I am loving, loving, loving this. I should have went with this tinier brush over there. It's okay. Okay. Loosen it up a little bit. We need more water. Cute. All right, I'm actually gonna make the balloons the same color. Try. Mm, can't decide. Should I make? Mm. Uh, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm just going to just make the balloons the same color as the little thing there. All right, I'm going to try something. Try to add like a little depth. Look at me trying something new. I'm going to grab a tiny brush, a detail brush, and we're going to hope and pray. Just before it comes on super thick. Just test it. Okay. 
ba 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 Yep, that's where I go. Look in the mirror, say my go. Go, 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 go. Ba 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 ba. Look in the where I go. Okay. Whew. I was nervous. So all I'm doing is just literally just like following a little bit of these lines that are already stamped. Add a little bit of shading. And then go back in this little bit of pink. Now we do this one. Okay, this is all put back. Oh dang, I forgot to do my swatches. She's all ready to go for the next time. And this was a fun medium. And I definitely will be playing with this one again. Again, it's the Chocola um, Gouache Paint Set. I'll have the link down below in the description box. Let's get some die cutting done. Okay, looks like I messed up. My stamp was not straight when I put it on the board. So now it's not, it's not even the right one. It's not matching up. I might have to fussy cut this one out. Okay, there we go. So cute, no harm, no foul. All right, I have my car base cut out to four and an eighth by six and a quarter. And then I have, um, this is my inside layer, cut down a little smaller um, for my sentiments or whatever I'm gonna write in here. And then I have this cut down to a little bit smaller. It looks like three and seven eighths by six. I just kind of wanted a little bit of a edge. I'm, I'm going to add, I must have black embossing powder still on my mat here. And I think that's what those little blotches are. Okay, we take the tape off, put it on the inside. And then this is the front panel, which we're going to use the gold foil, gold press foil for, and the uh, glimmer foil from Spellbinders. All right, I'm going to put this on top. Let that heat for a second. Get my card on top of that. Right down the center. Let that meld. And then I'm gonna run it through my um, switch. Oh, so pretty. <gasps> so pretty. This is hot. You can even use this as a a back sheet for something if you'd like right, we have this part and then i'm just going to add pop dots to the back of my stamp images here okay so i have the pop dots all on the back of my images and i decided to um because the watercolor is saying as though i didn't do any coloring it looks it's a different color so this is a little bit more on the creamy texture side whereas the card is flat um white bright white so i just re-stamped it in the brutus monroe ink and put it on uh, some white cardstock and then also i'm going to bring in this cardstock warehouse uh miri sparkle silver paper because we want to do all the brightest moments right so i'm going to i'm going to adhere this to the top i'm going to adhere this to the mirror sparkle card and just cut a small perimeter around since there's not like a whole bunch of room. So I'm gonna do that. All right, that made the cut. It's about a 16th of an inch. 
So just a little bit more. It's enough to add the, the extra shimmer that I wanted. So I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and add this to the top of the card. And now we can just go ahead and add our um, the little stamps. Right, let's add some bling. That is so adorable. And I am going to finish it off with a little more pizzazz with some silver stickles. There we go. What a cute card this is. This is so pretty. Oh, I love it. Lots of shimmer. Tons of little extra techniques. Just a really cute, super cute card. <laughs> so wait till it dries. It'll be nice and extra shimmery because it's still wet. So um, that's it, guys. I hope you like what I created. Um, I hope you like the process videos that's been happening so far. If you do, please take a moment and hit that like button and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Make sure to check out all the other process videos with Yishan Scrapbooking and figure out or see what I started out with. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.